love, hello. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. This week we read about the passing, the death of Sarah, Abraham's wife, Sarah. And yet the section is entitled, The Life, The Life of Sarah. Now, I think we all know some people who walk around planet Earth constantly in the doldrums filled with negative energy. And sadly, we might say that they aren't really alive. And there's other people who have such positive, productive energy that, of course, they continue to live even after they have passed physically. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone and some remain. So this week, we follow, we take a journey with the life of Sarah, even after she's passed physically. We see that her husband, Abraham, he mourns for her. He procures a burial spot for her there in the Holy Land. We see that Sarah's sons, Isaac and Ishmael, after years of tension, have a reconciliation. And mostly this week, we read about the joining of Isaac with Rebecca, their marriage, and that together they carry on the legacy of Sarah a legacy that continues on until today. Yes, from Sarah, we learn not to count our days, but to make our days every day count. Because we all have a soul, a soul that lives on forever, a soul that touches us and that can touch the world. Some are dead and some are living in my life. So join me as we take this journey together with the life of Sarah.